right guys, so here is my finished book. Um, the edges are made with skinny sticks and unfortunately I can't show you what they look like because I used them all in this project, but you can get these at the Dollar Tree. Uh, the long silver runners are the craft sticks, also from the Dollar Tree. Uh, this is a craft stick and the two silver. Uh, skinny sticks and this. Everything else you see was all done with hot glue. Um, so what I did was I started, found the book that I wanted to use, uh, sketched out on a sheet of paper like what I think it would be uh, a really cool design. I know I wanted a focal point of a light glowing. Um, let's see if you could actually, yeah. My, my lights are pretty bright so it's kind of phases it out, but you know, that glows. Uh, anyway, um, so I know I wanted this to be the focal point. I have it set in cardboard, double stock or double corrugated cardboard. Um, and then I filled it with hot glue and beveled it. Um, so uh, all this was done freehand with hot glue. I Once I was done, I covered it with tissue paper and uh, a half and half mixture of uh, Elmer's glue, school glue, and water. Let that soak. Uh, just because I wanted to make sure that uh, it didn't have that weird uh, book texture that I had, uh, which you could see on the back, it's that cheap, um, you know, that cheap alligator skin kind of a uh, texture, and I didn't want that. Um, so you know, it gave it these little nice little wrinkles. Anyway, that's the that's the idea I was going for. Um, so as you can tell, the book used to be black to start with. It's painted with uh, a paint called Bark Brown um, and it's done, it's lit by a battery. Um, that's two LEDs in there like for the light source um, and powered by that single battery. This battery's been in there probably for about four hours so it's not as bright as it normally is because um, this is one battery feeding two lights, and this is a light that I pulled out of the little uh, tea lanterns for uh, the battery operated tea lanterns to give it that flicker. Um, these are not the Dollar Tree brand, these are actually the Walmart brand, um, which actually came out to be cheaper than the Dollar Tree. Uh, anyway, um, so. I just scribbled some little ruins on there that's also hot glue and then what gives it this shiny protected look is Mod Podge it's a, a gloss Mod Podge that I used for it um, to go ahead and seal it in now early on or later on I made a mistake and you'll see me doing this in the tutorial however I don't know if you can tell this on camera these gems are way shinier than these gems because I had these on my book and then I clear coated with Mod Podge over them and they still hold shiny but they got a weird texture to them now of where the enamel actually settled and clung to it and it, it's just not as crisp and shiny as these gems so I cut those off um, and reapply them. You can also get these gems at Hobby Lobby. Um, make sure you use your 40% off coupon because that's pretty expensive. However, I use this um, for other things other than craft. So, uh, needless to say, I hope y'all like it. Um, All right, that being said, let's get to the build.
Okay everyone, so the first thing you do is you select your notebook. I took a standard drawing notebook uh, hardcover which is 8 by 12 inches long. Uh, it's fake leather, it's just some kind of vinyl they put over it. From there I'm going to start off with the centerpiece and I chose a double corrugated cardboard uh, circle. I just used a cup and traced around it to get the, the diameter that I needed and cut it out with an X-Acto knife. Next I'm using those small skinny sticks and the large craft sticks both found at the Dollar Tree and I'm basically bordering the notebook and then just putting those little diagonal uh, covers on. And then I started and originally I was going to make these rivets all over the book but I decided to be a little more creative. Um, but these were googly eyes that I use in a lot of my crafts and these can also be found at the Dollar Tree. Alright so next I'm going to freehand some things out with a hot glue gun. The rule of thumb here is to make sure your gun is extremely hot and you use even pressure. Um, that gives those smooth lines that you see on the curly cues over to the left. Um, the unhot glue is what you see on the bottom of that circle. Once that's dry, we're going to cover it with tissue paper. Now this is a 50-50 mix of Elmer's glue and water. And basically I soak it, completely saturate it, um, and then slowly push into the edges that I need. Um, so just take your time. Don't use anything sharp, and I found that a small piece of foam works really well. Next I added some magical glyphs to the binding of my book, just to give it a more magical feeling. And then uh, I started adding paint once that dried. I let it dry for about 30 minutes before I decided to start painting it uh, and the paint also helps to uh, lay the paper flat. It was at this stage that I realized that texture of this tissue paper is going to go throw my metal pieces off so I went back and pulled these pieces off uh, leaving the last remaining piece of my center. Um, I also tried to make this work but I just didn't like the outcome of it so I just scrapped it and decided I uh, screw it let's cut it out um, so that's what we did and to do this all I did was um, trace a smaller cup over that pattern and used uh, the exacto knife and cut straight across and then just slowly pulled it out with pliers and in the process I realized I didn't record this so I went back and did a sample for you so what I'm doing is using a standard tea light using a cup as I mentioned to get a smaller diameter and just slowly cut it out. Uh, this is sped up pretty quickly but that was like four or five passes before it went all the way through. All right all we want to make sure is that the light that the negative is under it and the positive is over it. We're going to cut out a piece of the same parchment paper And then we're going to uh, just simply lay this over the top. And this isn't a must. I, I don't do this all the time and it still works. Um, this just makes it a little easier for that battery to come out when we want it to the first, the first time. Okay, so we're going to just keep adding hot glue until we reach the very edge of our double corrugated cardboard. Next, we're going to keep adding hot glue, focusing on the center, and just slowly keep building up and up and up. So we have a slight bevel, we let that dry, add more. Okay, um, so as you could tell, where it meets, it's a little uneven. It's still got the little spots from when we tried to even it out earlier. So, how are we going to fix this? Well, it's really quite simple. with heat gun on high.
Okay, here it is after it cooled for a long time. See the nice, perfect, beautiful, pretty bevel on it? Um, if yours isn't turning on or some for reason, it's okay. Don't worry about it. This can always be fixed. All it is is an angle issue of our, you know, the arms for the for the LEDs. Okay, so Mod Podge, let's go seal it. Uh, make sure you seal over the glue gun, uh, the glue that we did for the light, because that Mod Podge actually helps broadcast that light through it. Uh, again, remember, uh, the gems should not be on your book at this stage, only for that clear issue. Uh, I let mine cure overnight. Mod Podge is very potent, so you might want to keep this outside, as you can get a headache. So, once, uh, once it sets up and it dries, go back and uh, fix your gems or jewels to uh, your wherever you'd like them with hot glue. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, any questions or feedback or anything would be appreciated. Make sure you uh, click on the like button for me, it helps a lot. Uh, share this with your friends who would love to make one, or, you know, make one for your friends. Christmas is coming up. This would be a really good gift for your DM. Um, anyway, thank y'all for watching. Make sure you click that like button and subscribe.